terms of a salesman were changed from a flat commission of 8% on all his sales to a fixed salary of rupees 20,000 per month plus 6% commission on all the sales exceeding 1.2 lakhs. If the remuneration as per new scheme was 4,000 less than that by the previous scheme per month, his sales were worth what? 5.2 lakhs, 6.5 lakhs, 7.6 lakhs or 8.4 lakhs. So basically what happens? The terms in which you pay a salesman have changed. Right? Changed from what to what? Earlier there was a flat commission of 8% on all his sales. On all his sales. Remember flat commission of 8% on all his sales. So they will check the total number of sales, total sales per month and they will give 8% of that to the salesman. But now it has changed to a fixed salary of 20,000 per month. So irrespective of what sales you do, you will get a fixed salary of 20,000 per month plus there is a 6% commission on all the sales exceeding 1.2 lakhs. Not on all the sales. It is on all the sales exceeding 1.2 lakhs. So up to 1.2 lakhs, you won't get any uh, commission. Right? Up to 1.2 lakhs, you won't get any commission. Up to 1.2 lakhs, you are not going to get any commission. It is only on the rest of the sales that you will get commission. And that too, 6 percentage. Now, if the remuneration, remuneration is nothing but the total amount that he earns. Right? Total income. So total income per as per the new scheme was 4,000 less than that by the previous scheme. The total income is 4,000 less when compared to the previous scheme per month, his sales were worth what? Now, only one assumption in this question that we have to make is that the sales in the previous month and sales in the current month are same. Otherwise, you will not be able to solve this. See, last month he has done sales, let's say, worth 10 lakhs. This month he has done sales worth 12 lakhs. Then we will not be able to solve the question because no data has been given with respect to that point, right? So, we have to assume that the sales per month is same. His sales were worth what? That we have to assume that the sales are same in both the months, right? Now let's assume that the sales per month is S. Sales per month is equal to S. Now what is the remuneration in the previous month? What will be the remuneration in the previous month? It will be 8% of S. Because you will get a flat commission of 8% on all the sales. So his sales is like let's say S which can be like you know 5.2 lakhs or 6.5 lakhs or 7.6 lakhs or 8.4 lakhs. It is 8% of S is what he gets. What will the remuneration in the current month? What happens in the current month? See, now in the current month, he's going to get a fixed amount of 20,000. That 20,000 is there plus 6 percent. 6 percent of what? Sales exceeding 1.2 lakhs. So, if the total sales is S, he will get commission only for S minus 1.2 lakhs. Yes or no? He will not get the 6 percent commission on all the sales. We have to subtract 1.2 lakhs from the total sales and on the remaining amount, he will get a 6% commission. So, what is the remaining amount? S minus 1.2 lakhs. Now, the difference of these two, 8% of S and 20,000 plus 6% of S minus 1.2 lakhs is equal to 4,000 rupees. This month it is less, current month it is less, current month it is less, right? So, the equation given to us is 20,000 plus, I am solving this, 6% of S minus, see, uh, you know, minus 6% of 1.2 lakhs. What is 6% of 1.2 lakhs? 6% of 1.2 lakhs. See, 10% of 1.2 lakhs is 12,000. 1% 1 is 1,200. 6% will be 1,200 into 6, which is 7,200. So, minus 7,200 is equal to, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. So, basically, current month it is 4,000 less, right? So, I can say 8% of S minus of this is equal to 4,000. You are able to follow. Previous month 8%, this month he has got this 20,000 plus 6% of S and 6% of 1.2 lakhs is uh, 7,200 I am sorry, not 72,000, 7,200. Let me just clear this. It is 7,200, yeah, 6% right, 1% is 1,200, so 7,200. So this is equal to 4,000, no solve for S, that's what he is asking us, right? What is the sales worth, sales were worth how much? Solve for S, only one equation, one variable. So 8% of S minus 6% of S. 2% of S. 8% of S minus 6% of S, 2% of S. Now this minus 20,000 or, or what is 20,000 minus 7,200? 20,000 minus 7,200 is 12,800. Minus 12,800. Minus of 12,800. Goes to the other side becomes plus 12,800. So 4,000 plus 12,800 is 16,800. So if 2% is 16,800, 1% is 8,400. If 1% is 8,400, 100% will be 8.4 lakhs. So the total sales will be worth 8.4 lakhs. 8.4 lakhs. Option D has to be the answer. I'm sorry. Option D will be the answer. 8.4 lakhs. As simple as that. Now, don't write all the steps and don't assume that it will take as much time as we have spent here. Right? I was explaining this to you. I was not solving. When you are solving it in the exam, you should directly write this step. All, all this is useless in my view. This is just for the sake of understanding. What you put on paper in the exam is this. 
you directly write 8% of s minus 20,000 plus 6% of s minus 7,200 is equal to 4,000. This is how a smart person will start. One equation, solve for that and get the answer. It should not take more than 30 or 40 seconds in my view, right? Not more than 40 seconds. Option 4, 8.4 lakhs. 8.4 lakhs with the final answer. Remember, you can also solve this question using options, but that would take longer than this, right? I mean, solving the equation is easier, right? Solving the equation is easier. So, 8.4 lakhs, option D. 